Alright guys, on these uh, newer model uh, Octomas, what will happen is, is when you go to turn the steering wheel, it will clunk. It'll make a clunking sound. And uh, what it is, is this rubber f uh, flex coupler and the MDPS, the, the electric power steering unit. You're going to need a T30 uh, socket to uh, get the motor separated. So we, I already started uh, filming here after I'd already dropped the uh, the steering assembly down. So you're gonna have three T30 bolts. Don't do the smaller uh, Torx bolts. You want the T30 black ones, uh, and and there's three of them here. Uh, one you're not gonna be able to see. It's gonna be on the back side. After you uh, go ahead and take those off, you're just gonna shimmy it off. Don't touch the motor assembly itself because you want it to line back up uh, with little effort. But if you look here, you can see how it just chewed this uh, coupler up. And uh, when it chews it up like this, what happens is you're going to get clunking when you uh, turn the steering wheel left or right you know, every, every time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some compressed air and we're going to blow out uh, you know, anything that's uh, left in there. Uh, and then we're going to install this new one. Now it's important when you install the new one that you go ahead and do it with the writing facing up. Uh, I don't know what the, the reason for that is, but the uh, service manual does state that the, the letters need to be facing up. So if you didn't move the motor, uh, it's going to be easy to put this back together. If you move the motor, you're going to have to try to you know, move the motor to, to line it back up. So you just want to push on it until it's, uh, it's you know, fully seated. It's important to make sure it's fully seated. And then you're going to grab the motor and put it back on. Like I said, if you didn't move the actual motor itself, uh, it should line back up no problem. And you're going to go ahead and give it a little shake because you want to make sure this line right here is lined up. If, it, if it's not even, you don't want to force it down with the screws because you're just going to mess the new coupler up. So after you uh, make sure that it's fully seated like it is here, you're going to take these T30s and you're going to put all three of them back in. Now right here I'm, I'm showing you where the nuts and bolts, there's two bolts and two nuts that hold the steering assembly up. And I'm, I'm trying to get a picture of it, you can see it right there right there so there's nuts there's one on each side the cover is blocking it here because I already put the steering wheel cover back on you want to get all the uh, wiring put back together you do have to disconnect some wiring uh, so that way that the uh, steering shaft assembly will drop uh, I didn't record it on this one because they had an aftermarket alarm that was in the way as well you're going to put this plate back on, it's got four uh, 10 millimeter bolts, and then you're going to put the plastic uh, panel back on. It just has four screws that hold it on place 